Accommodation is the process of changing the shape of the lens to focus on near or distant objects. This diagram shows a simplified cross-section of the eye perceiving a nearby object. In this example, it's a bird. To be able to see this image in focus, the lens needs to be thick. However, when looking at a far object, to be able to see this in focus, the lens needs to be thin. Your eye adapting the thickness of the lens to be able to see objects around you is a reflex. It happens automatically. Have a look around you now and test it out. This is called accommodation because our eyes are accommodating the need to look at objects at different distances. So how does changing the lens thickness allow us to focus? Light passing into the lens of the eye at an angle will change direction. We can compare this to cars driving from pavement onto sand. So in this analogy, cars approaching the sand from head on will slow down, but keep the same direction. Cars approaching at an angle will slow down and change direction, which is also true for light entering the lens. What do we call this bending of light? Refraction is the bending of a wave when it passes from one medium to another. Our eyes refract light waves to bring objects into focus. Here's that cross section of our eye again. If you look at the path of the light wave, you can see that it bends twice. At this point here, the cornea is refracting the light. Now this always refracts by the same amount to focus light into the pupil. The role of the lens is then to change its shape to alter the refraction so that light waves converge on the retina. Objects appear in focus when light rays converge on the retina. So in this diagram, you can see that this yellow line representing the light has met at a single point. Now this is important because objects will appear blurry if the light rays don't converge on the retina like this. So which objects require a thicker lens, near or far ones? Nearer objects require light to be refracted more, while further objects require light to be refracted less. This is because near objects reflect light into the eye at a wider angle, which requires greater refraction in order for the waves to converge on the retina. A thicker lens allows this to happen. The opposite is true for waves from far away, which are nearly parallel by the time they reach the eye. So how is lens shape controlled then to accommodate looking at further and nearer objects? The shape of the lens is controlled by muscles and ligaments. Let's have a look at the eye from the side and from the front. So in these diagrams, the red colour represents the ciliary muscles. This blue in the middle is the lens. And the blue lines attached to the lens show the suspensory ligaments. Now this particular diagram shows what the eye would look like when it's looking at far objects. The suspensory ligaments are tight and the ciliary muscles are relaxed to give a thin lens. When looking at near objects, this is what the eyeball would look like. This time the suspensory ligaments are loose and the ciliary muscles are contracted, giving a thicker lens. Okay, so how can we summarise all of this information into a table? In this table, we're going to put the information about near objects in this left-hand column. This diagram shows what the eyeball would look like when looking at an object nearby. So first, the ciliary muscles contract, the suspensory ligaments loosen, and the lens is thick and short. Now the information for far objects. This time, the ciliary muscles relax, the suspensory ligaments tighten, and the lens ends up being thin and long. Make sure that when you're talking about these changes in the eyeball that you're using the correct vocabulary. So ligaments tighten, not contract, and muscles relax, not loosen. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.